So how is all of that going to reflect? So we just looked at the, at the top line. So how is all of that going to reflect into our overall uh, financial, uh, financial model? Well, this is what we presented to you last time. So let's, uh, let's focus on the deltas for, for 2025. Of course, we did talk about the, the top line. So I won't spend too much time on that. You see that the gross margin we've kept flat in comparison to last year. Some of you might say, well, wait a minute. If, if, you, if you increase your top line, shouldn't you expect a higher uh, gross margin? But remember that the mix effect of having more dry business in there as having a detrimental effect. So, so you know, on the one hand, of course, with a top line uh, increase, you would expect uh, an increase in the gross margin, but the mix effect of having more dry business in there probably takes it down a, a bit. So that's why we keep that at a 54 to 56% uh, level. You see R&D here uh, at, the, uh, at the midpoint, at both midpoints, midpoint R&D divided by midpoint of sales at around 13%, which is a number that, uh, that you've probably seen uh, before. You see SGNA at 3.7% uh, at uh, of, that, of that top line at the, at the midpoint, which is consistent with where we had it, uh, where we had it last year. And then you see CapEx going up. This is the number that, uh, that Peter shared with you. So we expect every year to have about 500 million uh, increase in, uh, in CapEx. So that's the one you see there. And then you also see the effective tax rate going up a little bit as a result of some of the global tax debates that are going on. In terms of 2030, we talked about the, uh, the top line. We do believe in 2030 that there is potential to further, uh, further increase the value of our tools to customers. And as a result of that, also further increase our, uh, our gross margin. And we believe the bandwidth there to look at would be in the 56 to 60% uh, range. And, uh, you know, why is that? You know, it's, it's because at that stage, we believe we've taken high NA uh, to such maturity that it, that it will generate the, uh, the gross margin that we think uh, high NA has potentially there. And as we also mentioned, also for, for EUV in particular, we do believe there is, you know, the potential to further drive the value of those tools for the customer. So that's why we think a 56 to 60% potential for gross margin would be there in that, uh, in that time frame. R&D, midpoint, midpoint, around 12, uh, 12 percent. Uh, SGNA, you know, at a certain point in time, you will get some leverage from, uh, from there. So we think we can take that to 3 percent by 2030, away from the 4 percent that we had in 2021. And then you see the rest of the numbers there essentially unchanged in comparison to 2025. 